Okay, so we've got loads of information on this question, uh, so we've got to kind of try and find out what we think is going on. So it's talking about 120 children, uh, that's going to be important. Um, we've got bowling, cinema skating, so there's a variety of activities going on. And they're asking us to look at all this uh, combinations here, 66 blah 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 girls, and we want to work out the number of children who went bowling. So we could do um, takeaways, all kinds of things to work out from each of these statements what it's telling us. Um, we could do that just with a series of takeaway sums, um, but it's probably easier if we do it in a more formal way. So this looks like a classic question where a two-way table will help us because we're talking about uh, boys and girls along the rows, and we've got uh, activities, bowling, cinema, skating, down the columns. So if we just formalise this a bit, so we've got boys, girls, we've got bowling, We've got cinema, and we've got skating. And the important thing to remember about a two-way table is that the totals work going down the columns, but also along the rows, so hence the two-way. So let's go through each of these statements and see where we can put the information in. So they're telling us to start, there's 120 children altogether going to go into this table of information. So the grand total at the bottom here will be 120. 66 of the children were girls, so we know 66 of the children were girls. So that's done that bit of information. Uh, 28 of the, 20, uh, the 66 girls went bowling. So 28 of the girls went bowling, so we've done that bit. 36 of the children went to the cinema. So all the cinema numbers, the two numbers here, they'll have to add up to 36. And 20 of the children who went to the cinema were girls. So we know this is going to be 20 there. And 15 of the boys went skating. So we know this total here is going to be 15. So that's all the information put into the table. Now we can fill in the missing bits to find what the actual question wants. And the question wanted the number of children who went bowling. So we're after this box here. So we've got to do something to get down to this box. So let's have a look. Um, we've got 120 and 66 here, so there's only one missing bit of information here. So these two numbers we've got to add up to 120. So if we go backwards by taking away, then we could end up with the total here. So 120, take away 60 is 60, take away 6 more is 54. Remember this is um, on a calculated paper, so you could use a calculator to do the sums for you. Um, here we've got a row of information, it would be nice <coughs> if we'd find this missing bit here, so again these three numbers here must add up to 66, so if we come backwards by taking away we can find out this missing box, so 66, take away 20, 46, take away 20, 26, take away 8, uh, 18. Now we know that these two numbers here have to add to make this one here, so 15 plus 18, 33. So we now know that this row has to add up to 120. So again, we can come backwards to find this missing number here, which is actually the answer we're looking for. So we've got 120. Take away 30 is 90. Take away 3 is 87. Take away 30, 57, 51. So we think the answer there is going to be 51. We should do a check, though. So we might as well fill in the rest of the information and then check that this does give us a total here of 51. So, we've got 36 here, take away 20, that's 16, 54, <coughs> excuse me, 54, take away 10, 44, take away 5, 39, 29, 23, so we think this bowling here should be 23, if we add these up, 40, 43, 51, so our check worked, so we know the answer is going to be 51 for bowling. So using a two-way table can be very useful for putting in lots of different information and finding the missing bits in a kind of a logical way rather than just kind of trial and error down the side, doing loads of different sums.